Hey guys, this is Eric and Jason with Just Shooting Paper. We just wanted to give you guys some updates on some things that we've bought and things we've done. We went to a gun show about, well, about a week ago. Um, I've done some ordering online, bought some new gear. And so we just figured it's time for another video. So one of the things that we've done is uh, we saw it on, on YouTube, of course. We can't think of the, the website at all right now. But we used the white crayon and just filled in the grooves to highlight the M&P 1522. Looked really good. Um, if we can figure out who it was that we saw it, we'll put it on the description. That's pretty cool. Um, at the gun show last week, did some buying. I uh, bought a sling attachment for for both rifles, actually. It's, it's a Magpul. Can't think at all what the brand name is for the slings. But they were pretty nice. I liked them. They got some bungee in them. They got quick releases. It's pretty good. So, that's that. I got for the 5.56, five, I got the same thing. got the, the Magpul attachments and the same sling as on the other one. Yeah, don't you love it when that happens? Uh, <laughs> I got aluminum quad reel. It was pretty cheap. I mean, it was the best price we could find at the um, gun show. And considering the fact that I'm not mounting any sights on it, I've just got the vertical grip with the, bi with the bipod, spring-loaded bipod attached to it, and the sling. The sight itself is actually mounted to the receiver, so even if it does work to where it's not perfectly level, it won't hurt anything. And then our online purchases. Well, I got online, and thanks to nothing fancy, because I watch him pretty much constantly. And uh, so I found on 511's website, I found this vest on clearance. So I just had to grab it. So I got the vest, two mag pouches from 511. I got a large pouch from 511. Let's see what I have on the inside. I have my hearing protection. Yeah, I'm not even positive that these were ever meant for shooting. Actually, I think they might even be construction grade, but they actually work really good, so I've always used them. Let's see what else is in here. Got two more magazines. They're, um, I have six of these. They're all Smith & Wesson MMP stamped. I like that. I, th I think they look pretty cool. They're all mag poles. Or P no, P mags. I'm sorry. They're all P mags. But yeah, they all have the MMP logos in them. Stuff yep, got four more, exactly the same up front. These pouches are 511, the vest is 511. Uh, up here, this little um, double mag pouch was Condor. And up here, I have, I have a Gerber multi tool. Uh, I've had this thing for probably 15 years. I've barely ever used it, but I've always had it. And as nothing says, you never know. So, and then this one got a magazine for my P89. You gonna be upgrading that P89? Keep talking about it. I know. I keep bouncing all over the place. I can't decide. I keep going <laughs> from the XD to all the way back to HK USP. I I can't decide. I, I'll. It'll be a couple of weeks, but. There'll be something different than that Ruger here pretty soon. Yeah. And also, due to nothing fancy and him making fun of everybody for ditching their mags in the dirt, I got a Condor um, thump pouch. It's got, either way, you can just put it through the belt or you can unsnap it and, and buckle it over your belt. You could probably buckle that onto your vest, couldn't you? Uh, on may possibly, maybe. Maybe. Just whichever way is easiest. But yeah, it might an option. fit on there. I don't know. But you might want it lower. So that way you can dump it down. If it's on the vest, it'd probably be a lot higher. So, see, so yeah, I think I covered everything. What do you think? Do you think I like I'm the shirt. It? Let me see the back of that shirt. Okay. Yeah, I got this off Ops Gear. I liked it quite a bit, so I, I jumped on it. I couldn't help myself. I don't have very many shirts that, you know, go with my hobby, and I just had, I had to jump on it. I, I liked it quite a bit, so. 
Very cool. Now I'm ready to go shooting. I'm always ready to go shooting. What are you talking about? <laughs> you get me a new knife as well. Ah, uh, talking knives. Always got my bench made. McHenry and Williams. I've had that for a long time. Oh, probably 15 years yeah, or more. Yeah, I can remember. I think I bought this about this first, the same time I bought my first gun. Paid about 15 years ago, paid about 150 bucks for it. And I was like, wow, that's a lot for a knife. But I've had it ever since, so I guess it was worth it. Cool. Hopefully we'll get out and do some shooting tomorrow probably, but I don't know yet about that. <laughs> It'd be nice. It's been, what, two weeks since we went? Yeah, we need to get your 5.56 five, sighted in uh, better. Yeah, actually, that. actually, all the way again, because we had to take it off again to put your... Uh, the quad rail on. Yeah. Yeah. We had to take it off the quad rail alone. And, silly me, I did not look or count the grooves when I took it off. So, right. so yeah, it's good. To to totally so kind of need to start over on that. I also got me a little... Uh, little scope, 3x9 scope, put on my Marlin 22 as well, so got to sight that thing then. All so right. we need to be shooting. We need to shoot. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, bye, guys.